people often are amazed that chefs cook quite simple things when they get home. I don't know about these two boys. John? Yeah, I look, spaghetti meatballs and, and you know, pasta bolognese and a quick Thai curry and I'm as happy as Larry. Oh, that's all. Oh, I like vegetable biryani. Just simple and easy. It would do. One it? pot, yeah. one pot. It's really simple. I, one thing that I love is this pasta dish. And it's great after a really hard day's work in the kitchen. Incredibly easy to make and easy for somebody like Matt to do because he's only got one ring. Uh, <laughs> at home. So what you, <laughs> but unfortunately you're going to need three pans. Uh, but what we're going to do with I've this is... two. Yeah, you've got two. Should we stop here? No, we'll take this with you. <laughs> uh, what you need is some pancetta, all right? So you can use pancetta, you can use streaky bacon if you want, but the difference between pancetta and streaky bacon is this is dried, cured and smoked, which is wonderful. It's lovely and crisp. It crisps up really nicely in our pan. You mean it's posh? It's, Actually, yeah, well, it's, it's kind bacon, of, isn't it? It's kind of bacon, but yeah, it's Italian and it's great. It's delicious. But what we're going to do is fry this off in a dry pan because there's quite a lot of fat you can see from the belly pork in here. Uh, so we're going to fry it all off into a dry into a dry pan to get it nice and crisp. Now, running through the ingredients for this, we've got some penne pasta, fresh egg penne pasta, so it's nice and quick to cook. Really takes about sort of two minutes. And that's maximum. Uh, we've got some egg yolks, some parmesan, some double cream. A little bit of parsley, and I'm just going to do a salad with some bread and some little gem lettuce. So in we go with the, uh, the pancetta here. There we go. Now, I've been Irish, uh, half Irish and half Greek. Irish. What was your food like when you brought up at home? I mean, it was amazing. No baby food, I suppose. No baby food. We used to, we used to make um, no, loads, of, loads of different... Because my mum's, my mum's Irish, but she, she cooks loads of Greek food as well. So kind of yeah. the rice and the, and the soft chicken in there, the fasulagi and stuff. And it's the green beans and... Um, yeah, it was quite, quite posh baby food, really. And your mother's quite famous, isn't she, in North London? In, in North London for her chicken soup. For yeah, chicken she's, soup? She's yeah. renowned for it. <clears throat> I used to think there was something medical in it. You used to get this horrible cold, have a bowl of chicken soup, and that was it. You were feeling better. Fourteen one people's the most she's ever cooked for. With one bowl of chicken soup? With one soup. bowl of chicken soup, seriously, and she wasn't even supposed to cook. I bought, I was around a mate's house with seven of us, only about thirteen, and uh, I came round and they wanted some of the soup, and that's how much extra she makes. It was kind of, it was all left over. Now, you mentioned 13. I mean, you started your acting career about sort of, what was that, four years before that, didn't you? Yeah, I was about, I was about nine when so I was. So how, how did that come about? Because wasn't it food-related as well? It was. It was purely for the reason that when, uh, when I eat, I look so happy. And, uh, and someone saw it and thought, let's film that, because that's a great commercial. And um, I did loads of food adverts as a kid. Really? Yeah, <laughs> loads of different things. You know, just like chocolate and, and Chinese food and, and all sorts. But didn't they have a, what, they had, because you kept eating it, didn't they have a spit bucket? They, yeah, well, right? yeah. <laughs> well, really, when you're, when you're doing commercials, you're supposed to eat it, and they film it, and you, then you cut, and you kind of spit it out, because otherwise you, get, you eat too much, and you end up feeling sick. But oh, I just carried on eating it for, for the whole day. <laughs> right, so we've got in there. We're just going to turn over our bread like that, to get it nice and brown. Lovely. Take that off to one side. Pancetta's cooking away nicely. My uh, pasta's cooking away. In our sauce we've got in here, we've got egg yolks. Three egg yolks, some Parmesan cheese, which you're going to have to go and buy one of these. What's that? Is that the, is that the James Martin Grape? No, no, the, the, this is available this at is, all <laughs> good this is, great, this is fantastic. It's brilliant for cheese, but also when you get out of the bath in the morning, hard skin. What, oh, lovely. Oh, that's oh, lovely, isn't oh, it? Oh, that's, that's, oh, put it in your James. dishwasher, you'll never know. Right, anyway, oh, <laughs> oh, Parmesan oh. cheese. Don't tell me you don't do it, John Terod. Oh, it's so wrong. <laughs> there you go. So I'm on the heel of my feet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just make you get the one with small, small holes in the big stuff that take half your foot off. But anyway, <laughs> chopped parsley. Is that your James Martin knife? No, that's going to go in there. So a bit of chopped parsley. And then we've got some double cream. And my pancetta is lovely and crisp. You can see that. Just the amount of fat that comes out of that is unbelievable. What comes out of the... Uh, the pancetta. There's you loads of it that comes out of there. You Are you making again? a bacon sandwich? Yeah. Sorry? Are you making a bacon sandwich? You've got bits of bread, you've got some bacon on. What? It's lovely. I like the bits of bread in my nice little salad. Double cream, of course. Yeah. Must always use double cream. Double cream. Yeah. So you went from adverts, and how did you get the job in sort of EastEnders then? Um, well, the adverts kind of progressed. I ended up meeting a friend, and, go, and I went to Sylvia Young for, uh, for about four or five years, and, uh, and then went to college and, and kind of started doing a, a BTEC uh, for drama before I wanted to go to university. Right. And, um, and I was just a job in actor, and it kind of just came about, and, um, and yeah, and I was there for two but years. London, big, big part, yeah. It was, it was, especially when I was, I was quite young. I was about 17 when I started, or, or 18, and um, but I, learned, I learned a lot there. You know I mean, it's a great place to work, and everyone's, everyone's really cool there. But the food there is actually really bad. We need you to go down and, and sort it out. <laughs> Seriously, it's jacket potatoes, chips and beans from, uh, from Jean's Tea Bar. It's, uh, it's not great. <laughs> but you left that, and did the, you did the Strictly Tour, which we've just, just been on. Yeah. 
And uh, he kept winning, by the way. So the one thing that I, we, me and uh, Mr. Darren Goff had a pact. We said that <laughs> just before we were about to walk out, as we were just about to get announced on, that I would give him a dead leg just before he walked out. Right. You, he calls it being competitive. I call it bullying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. He said, it, oh, you're, you're too good at that salsa, you. You're too good at that yeah, salsa. He was good. And I he just kept giving me a dead leg. I've still got bruises and stuff, James. I mean, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't nice, was it? But it was the only way of trying to win. Yeah, that it didn't worked, work. didn't it? No, that didn't work. I didn't win any of them, but anyway. Well, give you, this you had together. Chris Parker there, so you're all right. Thanks very much, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we've got a salad here. Now, you've missed what's gone in there, so you have right. to watch You've got vinegar. bread in your salad, mate. Yeah, this is, this is croutons, mate. This is croutons. Nice croutons. Bit salad. Bit of cider vinegar. Olive oil. Look at that. Lovely. Olive oil. Right. We've got our pasta here. Now, this is really simple to cook, right? So you've got our pancetta. Lovely and simple. Nice and crisp. Lovely and crispy. Loads of it. It's going to go in there. You could put mushrooms and stuff like that in there, whatever you wanted. And then what we're going to do is drain off our pasta. And while it's still hot, add it to our egg yolks and cream. And because we've got it while it's still hot, it's going to cook our egg yolks, but also melt our cheese. So that's going to go in there. So what's next for you then? What, what do you want to do? Because obviously you've EastEnders and you've done a bit. What, 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 what are you going to do next? What's so I'm just going to use this here to kind of uh, to concentrate on, on doing some different stuff. Do you know what I mean? I left EastEnders. I wanted to change, so I tried the dancing thing. And uh, I think this is your theatre work. Do you know what I mean? Just concentrate on doing some serious and kind of and something a bit different. And do, I've never tried theatre. I haven't had the, the opportunity or the time to, to try it. So I'm going to try that out. And, uh, and fingers crossed it goes well. Yeah, I had a phone call from Chicago after Strictly. You did? Yeah, the pizza place, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was getting all excited, but... Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that's got your... That was a good one for you. You're not normally funny, you like that, that was thanks. good. <laughs> Just think of where this grate has been. All right. Think... Oh. Right, now dive into that. Tell us what you think. Come on in. I like these bowls as well. Can I nick one of these bowls? Take you can have one of them. We'll do you a little gift pack on the you way. You have a little out. hamper. Yeah. James Martin hamper. Let me get some of the bacon in. Yeah. Right. What do you think? I'm going to be honest. Be honest. Right, that's all right. It's all right, that. I've got the approval. Right, one of them cook for Matt at the end of the show. Will he be eating his idea of food heaven? Swordfish and my marinated swordfish yes. with a classic romesco sauce. The swordfish is marinated with lemon juice, thyme, olive oil, and cooked quickly in a fiercely hot grill and left to rest. It's served with sauteed potatoes and a chunky red pepper sauce. And a few Spanish pedron peppers on the side. Will Matt face his food hell? Rhubarb. The rhubarb is covered in whiskey, ginger, and sugar. And then roast it in the oven until it's softened and poured into a sweet pastry case and it's covered with a freshly made custard and the whole thing is cooked in the oven and then topped with my homemade crumble and served in slices with a little rhubarb compote on the side. Oh. Oh. Lovely. Our guests in the studio and some of our viewers will get to decide Matt's fate today. Ethel, any ideas what you're going for? I love rhubarb, Matt. Don't say it. I'm sorry, I love rhubarb. Ah, there you go. Janet? From Yorkshire. Oh, that was going to be another What does rhubarb. that mean? <laughs> it means from the rhubarb. That's where what? rhubarb comes from, Matt. Rhubarb comes from Yorkshire. Yeah, it doesn't come from a tin, yes. Well, that's, not... that's insane. <laughs> so we've got the biggest rhubarb fan yeah. in the world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is a bit. What's yeah. going on here? Coming up, I feel there's a perfect pork chop recipe to show us. I tell you, it's a great night. Right, but first, it's time for a brand new addition to our Saturday Kitchen lineup. That Jella Lawson's shown us how to cook the express way. Today, she's using the contents of her freezer to prepare something for a friend. That'll be interesting if you go around to his house. Uh, for most of us, that would mean fish fingers and oven chips. But not for Nigella.